Good morning, guys. Morning. We are late, but we apologize. It's been a while, so we had to figure out what passwords were to enter the studio. Um, but that's so, normal. Well, there ain't nobody in here anyways. Maybe they will. They might have all quit unsubscribed to it. Something don't seem right. That's one person's in. There we go. All right. Hey, Jacob. There's no comments popping. Oh, there they are. Good morning, guys. Morning, Wendy. It's 72 degrees there. She said it's hot. It's pretty, I mean, it's nice here. I don't know what the degrees is, but it's nice. Can y'all hear us okay? We're using the mics today because it's super, super, super windy. So let me know how the um, sound is. You can now put people in different links or you can now put in time people in timeout for different links range from 10 seconds to 24 hours. Hmm. All right. Good sound. All okay. right. Good deal. Well, we finally got caught up on everything and we felt like it's been a while. So let's just go ahead and go live this morning and visit with everybody. Um, it's been a, it's been a minute since we went live. Wendy from Canada. Connie, Nancy, Barbara, thank y'all so much for hopping on here. She said, no, we didn't quit. Um, things are looking up around here. We're, um, like say, is one thing. I know, I see a big bird shadow. The buzzer. One thing that. We really, um, the guinea pen, we finally finished that and put the guineas in there. And um, I think we're going to get some more of those once we get closer up to the house because they have enough of room. Um, I am going to box like the end of it in with uh, tarps or something like that and put a nest box in there. But um, Just to give a little bit more cover than just the top. But it, it, it I mean, it took a good while to put up, but hey. It was worth it. And uh, he says, good morning. It's 65 degrees in my corner of Utah right now. I um, would say it's probably 70s, huh? Yeah. I mean, we're in the shade right now, so it feels more like maybe late 60s. But the sun's out. Good morning, Cindy. Dave. I'm from the UK. Hope all is well. There's Neil. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not getting great reception, but I'm using Addison's phone How since we're not on the computer. It's kind of crazy. It's been so long, so everything's kind of out of whack. But um, we're just kind of sitting out here enjoying the animals this morning. And um, we actually got a new animal here on the farm. I don't think it's been released yet. It will actually go out today. So y'all may need, y'all may see that new animal here in just a little bit. Um, he is a big old pet. But we're going to visit with y'all a little bit and then we'll get some feed and bring over here and let y'all see all the animals. But he is, he is a big old pet. Sorry if I don't read the comments as fast just because her Wi-Fi is kind of stretching it right here, I guess. I can, really? They're coming, but they're coming slower than like what I can see up here. Try to get in here. Let me see. Um, I don't have Facebook on that. We'll get it all fi figured out here shortly. Usually we can use Layton's phone, but he's actually not grounded from his phone. That's so good. he has it. And, but he should be calling me later. Um, we got to figure Donna. out about football. Huh? Donna says she can't hear a thing. Uh oh. Well, that was earlier. Okay. So. 
Janice, thank you so much for the 100 stars. We greatly appreciate it. Stephanie told us on her video. Oh, you already told him? Um, about the pig. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, no, this okay. is something new. This is something yeah. new, new. Oh, Brandon kind of does my thumbnails and my last, like, my thumbnail and title and stuff. But um, sometimes he looks through the video to kind of see what we need to title it. But sometimes he doesn't. So Carly was actually asleep in these two tubs. Uh -huh. Carly was asleep in one. The pig was asleep in the other. Oh, really? The, yesterday morning or day before yesterday, whenever I did that video. That's awesome. Um, the babies are doing really good. Yeah, 83 on Orlando. Yeah, they're actually, well, one of them is right here. Both of them were down here. The other one must be over there by Mama. But, um, yeah, both of them are doing really good. Um, better to be than expected. Eric said we're coming in good there. We, um, we've been battling the predators, and we finally got – we're kind of sneaking up on them now. We're, we're taking over. Um, we finally got traps out, and um, – it's been it's been a long battle. I mean, we've had to spend some money to get all the traps and the cameras out, but uh, we're. I will say that raccoons are definitely an issue here. Yeah. Um, there, there. Last night we got three of them on camera, um, and then the night before there was four on, of them on camera, not separate. They was all together. So. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and then we had the raccoon trying to get in the guinea pen, which um, we've already took that them out of there. So there's nothing in that pen right now. That's um, some green grass. Yeah, that's that wheat. Um, we haven't seen the llamas lately. Are they okay? Yeah, they're right over here. I'm sure when Brandon gets the, the feed out in just a little bit, they'll be right over here. Yeah. We, um, I've got a, uh, I've got an idea of what we're going to do, and then I don't know how many mornings we're going to do this, but um, that pen Steph actually uh, expanded it. But um, some mornings, <laughs> what I, you know, there's so many people enjoy the animals. What uh, what we're going to do is is get all the babies and, and put them in that pen, and some of the chickens, the silkies, and stuff. And we're going to let y'all watch them play because here's the deal is I can sit back and watch the, those guys for hours because those little babies jump up and do the weirdest things. It's, it's crazy. So, um, we're going to start doing a little bit of that, uh, and kind of go from there. Just trying to get a, get another routine going. <coughs> How's the weather there in Oklahoma? It's really nice. Um, but when the wind comes, so does my allergies. And I actually went and got me a steroid shot this morning. And I'm just taking the Zyrtec. But, yeah, it's good. <coughs> Come here, cowboy. Yeah, I want that mic. That's probably really, really loud. Um, well, come here. How are Kason's eggs doing that he got from the meetup? They are in the incubator. They've yep. been in there for about Seems eight. Like two days after the yeah, meetup. Yeah, two days after the meetup. Cowboy. Because some of you that may not know eggs, um, which we didn't at first. Good morning from but Washington. when you get them from someone, you have to let them set, what, 20, 24 to 48 hours or yeah, something? Yeah, if the they're shipped or if they travel a long distance you gotta let them set for, yeah yes so we do that and then they're on out good morning lori oh i was like how do you know but. i'm going back and forth <laughs> there's neil hey uh i don't know if i told you this i got a visit with neil the other morning hauling hauling uh yeah what do you do call him yeah i called him yeah, on my road trip, I got a visit with him for a little oh. bit until I got into uh, into the the mountains and I lost him. So that was pretty neat. 
Do you know when the llamas are going to have their babies? We don't. I wish they'd hurry up and have them. Yeah, we got them about six months ago, and they were said to be bred. So when you get something from the auction, you don't completely, completely know for sure if they're telling the truth or right. whatever. So there's they're supposed to be, and they look it, so we just got to wait and see. Lori, I'm glad you got to see me too. Teresa said, good morning from ICU in Alabama. Been here since 9-8. Wow, been really sick. Hope all is well. Well, I hope you get to feeling better. That's crazy. Eric said, raccoons seem to be the pests all over the U.S. We used to have a ton of problems with them when I was living in New England. Yeah, they. we caught some big ones last night. It was really yeah. big. She um, does. Let's hope you both have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you. You do the same. Yes. Um, we're going to also, um, everybody been waiting on the shirts last week we we received one order uh, one design thursday one friday so i assume monday we'd receive the last one but it didn't i contacted them they're going to be here this evening so we got to go to layton's ball game tonight and uh, probably the very next night we will go live and we are going to ship all the shirts out live pack them and all that yep. so um it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I always enjoy doing that because, you know, we like to get things and uh, just put special gifts in there just to show our appreciation. Um, our stickers and everything's going to be um, on the website later on this evening. They're all coming in today. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we're still working on some calendars. So, that's all still in the works. Lori, I missed you. Are you going to be there in October? I think you said you were, but I couldn't remember. Um, Sherry says, good morning. If you or you all are making good progress with renovations for the animals, love watching the builds. That renovation is another thing we can talk about too. Ricardo says, good morning, Brian and Stephanie. How are y'all doing this morning? Doing awesome. Um, yes, Lori. Yesterday we had a, a another contractor come out here um, and... Take a look and... Take a look at the building. And uh, they're going to um, they're going to be out here tomorrow. Is tomorrow Friday? Yes. Tomorrow's Friday. They're going to be out here and they're going to finish the building up. But, you know... I talk about my, my the sheriff's department. That's what I did, and that's what I loved. Uh, and I, I hold no grudges with anybody. But um, everybody can change their life just like I did. But the guy that I posted online, here's the deal. I need a contractor. And uh, this gentleman sent a message, say, hey, I do contract work now, and blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the deal. I've arrested this guy multiple times. Nothing big. Not, not, nothing, nothing big, big. But um, he has changed his life. He's been, he's been straight for the last five years. And uh, I just think it's cool to tell the kids the story and let them know that just because you mess up doesn't mean you always hope or somebody messes up. You don't hold that grudge. You got to you got to everybody can change i guess i can say i'm saying and i just think it's really cool that you know he's going to be out here doing some work and stuff so that's pretty awesome yeah and then he says he has some buddies that can do some flooring and stuff like that too so we're going to look into that after the right, main Connie. thing is the getting the mud and everything done Hello from Arkansas. Nice and cool here. Hope y'all are having a blessed day. Well, I hope you are as well, Connie. Good morning. Cindy's looking forward to getting my shirt. I wore one of our shirts yesterday, I think. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I only wore it for, like, the video. And then I was cleaning waters and got mud on me. So I had to take it off. So... I may be getting me another one. 
Yeah, uh, Neil, it was. It was a good trip. Everything went great and a really good time. Um, the house, we don't know when the house is going to be done. Um, we just kind of don't even think about it anymore. You know, when they pull up, they'll pull up. They're um, supposed to be bidding out contractors for the actual house now. Um, they they think that it should go a lot faster than like it took what a year and a half to find someone to do the dirt work, but they say that that's usually the hardest to find is someone that will do the dirt work plus the actual house. So since they split it up, it was a little bit faster for them to find the do the dirt work, and then now all they're looking for is the actual house. So it may not be a year and a half, but you don't you don't really know because it's hard to find contractors that meets all the requirements and everything. And, and, and that's the deal is, is, you know, if I was a, a construction worker, I would want to get in with the, the Indians because they have so much work, but I think what it is, is they have high expectations yeah. and it's going to be done the right way. And um, that might be what it is. Kathy, little late's better than never. Good morning. Eric says, those are some very fine words, Brandon. We should all be heeding them. Yep. Neil says, I'm like Brandon. I'm good at keeping secrets. I'm just not good at keeping the secrets. The fact I have a secret. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I don't know that. You know, I was talking to um, one of my buddies uh, the other day. Uh, many of y'all told me to get a hold of uh, Sean to talk to him about the coyote calls or keeping it Dutch. And uh, I talked to him the other day. And that's kind of one of the things that, you know, he's going to be setting up a youth hunt and um, for for his property out there. But he, he's going to be bringing uh, fathers and uh, kids out there to hunt. Well, you know, eventually, once we get everything up there and everything is built the way I want, top notch, and it ain't just regular wood, um, I want to be able to bring, you know, kids out here to let them interact with animals. Um, the ones that I want to go, you know, for sure is I want to start trying to do something with the kids that don't have fathers, that the fathers are out of their life. Um, that is... You know, that, that's what I've seen um, working at the sheriff's office. I mean, there's a lot of uh, fathers and there's a lot of mothers. But, um, you know, I can do the father part by taking them fishing or taking them hunting. Um, we're going to try to get that pond fixed over here and get it stocked. This little pond, it's stocked right now. And the kids go over there and catch fish every day. And, but we, we release them, and then when we go fishing somewhere else, we bring them back and dump them in. So it's it's pretty neat. But I'm going to do something like that. Um, you know, for our country to get better, it's going to take me, you, and everyone else to try to pitch in and do something to help. And I, I think that's where it starts is um, we can sit back and see what direction it's going, but – if we want to really make a change, we need to step up and try to do something to help. Helen from Melvindale, Michigan is saying howdy and good morning. Well, good morning. <coughs> Hello from Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for hopping on here. Um, like I say is... Hi, Teresa. We kind of got out of this routine of the morning deal because the, you know, I was having issues with my stomach and, you know, it's just hard to deal with, you know, everything on the farm and then worrying about other things. Um, so we're trying to get back in the routine. I'm going to get some animals over here. Let them let y'all see them. Yeah, we won't be bombarded with all of them though because we only have well, we have some goats that have jumped out of the pen 
or we have the males that are on the outside and then the llamas and um, the ponies are still locked up over there now we let one of the ponies at, or uh romeo snuck out the other day um, when we was actually getting fred and loading him up and stuff and him and badger just being you know two males they just was not liking each other so uh he just accidentally got out so i was gonna put him back up anyways but it was like instant and it was dark outside it was crazy but um hey ed when will my shirt officially come in the mail madison it will be we're hoping to be able to go live tomorrow evening and actually package up everything because we haven't got we've gotten two design shirts and we have three designs so those are supposed to be here today but once we have all of them we're gonna do a live we're gonna package all those shirts and um get them sent out but in the mail it just kind of depends on where you live if you live close to oklahoma obviously you get it within a day or two if you live i don't know farther you, it takes a little bit longer <coughs> sorry for that um eating tacos but listening Then I go get a little bit of food. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. You got a drink? Yeah. I'll probably have to go get my water. Um, how old is Badger? About two. I'm hoping to start catching more of your lives. Well, I'm hoping to start doing more. All right, allergies makes my eye water. Just one eye. It's more, the more I talk, the more I cough. But since Brandon's getting over here, I'm going to run in the house and I'll be right back. All right, we got some feet going here, so they'll be out here in just a second. The, the llamas are already coming over, but I, I love this new feed that we're actually feeding. It's uh, got some pretty good pellets in it. Well, let's scoot over so they can kind of see them a little bit. You can hear Wilbur. Y'all hear him? Here, hey guys. What's the cow there you go. Everybody want to see y'all this morning. Easy. Easy, buddy. Good catch here. Isn't he so cute? So with, with Badger, you can set, you can put food out everywhere. He just chases the bucket. I'm gonna scoot this back just a little bit. All right, Badger, come over here. Everybody, hey, tell me now, Wilbur. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Move that over there. I got some treats for you. All right. Hey, say hi to everybody. Say hi. He's a good boy. What about you, honey? Huh? Say hi. Steph will be back in a minute. Help out the comments. You're a good boy, you know it. to actually see what y'all can see. You 
point that camera up. Tilt it up. Just a little bit. Right there? Yeah, that's good. All right, here, you can use the phone. I'll take care of the animal for a minute. Sounds yep. like a deal breaker. Y'all see the new animal yet? Oh, this chair is like. <laughs> hey, buddy. How this are you? This is Oscar. I don't know. If, yeah, they can see a little bit of him. Oscar. Oscar. How are you, buddy? Look up here. Look up here. Y'all see him? <laughs> He's like, that's just the bag. Here, Oscar. All right, let me set this down. Oscar. Badger or eat it. But yeah, this is what we do in the mornings to make the animals tame, you know. Uh, Powder says, Stephanie, I just came on. What did Mr. Brandon think of your fence job? It looked really good. It looked really good. Yeah. Y'all remember when, when we couldn't even, if you go back when we got uh, Badger, you couldn't even get close to him. Now look at him. No. Air Jordan, you're going, no. Air Jordan, you ain't getting them. I don't like yeah. you no more. Air Jordan's out because she's the biggest fence jumper right there. Air Jordan going to take a road trip here in a month or so. Where's Cowboy? Cowboy's right over here. Come here, Cowboy. Come here. Not the thing. Cowboy. I don't you know if they can see him, though. So you can have some, but I'm going to pet you. Hey, quit. Let Socks have some. I'm going to pet you, though. Oh, see, I didn't hurt you. I didn't hurt you. Come here. See, I'm not going to hurt you, buddy. Cowboy. I'm just petting you. It's okay. It's okay. We're just loving on you. It's okay. Cowboy. You're okay. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. No, you're okay. See, I'm not hurting you. I'm not hurting you at all. I, I just want to love on you. Here, you can have some more. Magic. You want some more? All right, well, I'll let Dad try to get him in a minute. He'll show you, cowboy. Uh, let's see, I never go anywhere without something to drink. This time of year, I don't either. No, Air Jordan, get down. Badger nearly dove head first into that bucket. Yeah, he chases the bucket everywhere. Moving or it's morning okay. with I'm Iowa. Not hurt from you. Iowa. I just want to love on you like I yeah. did on Badger all the time. Oscar the Tom. How are you both doing from the UK, Trudy? See, see what Badger trusts me. Neil says, Yay, walking Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. Sure, he says, is Oscar a turkey? I thought Brandon wanted geese. Yeah, that's actually why we went. He was okay. looking for some geese, but You're they okay. own, they had some African uh, geese. Um, what y'all's thoughts on African? We don't know geese. We don't know which kind would be best for our area. We, we don't know. So what's y'all's thoughts on African geese? Or what kind we should get. We'll come and get you some more. If you get food, I'll get a pet you, though. It's nice to meet Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. Tina says, good morning, Steph and Brenna. I hope you all are good, having good a girl. wonderful morning. See? I got to you let me pet you a little longer that time. All right, let me hop back on to Facebook. We got a bunch more feed here, Socks. We'll come and get Hello some. Hello from I'm Pennsylvania. Cowboy, they could probably hear you, but they want to see you. Yeah, good girl. Yes, she's a good girl. Peggy she's from Washington. Girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, that's good. You're trusting me. The new babies are doing really good. good. You're okay. You're okay. I just want to pet. Just like this. 
so close. Um, this is the first time I've seen the pig. Nope, he's back there. Uh, how are you feeling, Stephanie? Is it your allergies or a cold? Daytime live, not middle of the night. Oh, good job. Um, it's just allergies. I went to urgent care this morning and they gave me a steroid shot. And um, I got Zyrtec to take every day now. Now it's just getting it gone. Cynthia said, so weird. You start in the morning, and here we're starting the evening. Now that new pig is a male. They're both boys. We was looking for a female, I think, but it is what it is. Yeah, geese are very noisy, but so are chickens. Nancy says, I love Kevin's geese that he just got. Yeah, those really pretty white ones. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. Can y'all see Cowboy now? He's sneaking up by Wilbur. You're okay. You're okay. And back there. Come here, honey. Badger. Badger, you can't have it all. Now, you got to share. All right, Badger. sorry, there's a phone call. Can't have it all, yeah, YouTube is busy. I've had a few commercials myself. <laughs> Fine in the Pines says it's new on East Coast. Grace, he, he really enjoyed my fencing. Now, I guess we wasn't talking about it like enough. But he wants to, um, he was talking about doing some lives in that mama pen. <coughs> well, I didn't, ex I didn't know, I, I knew that, but I completely forgot and I made it bigger. So we may still do something and it's, it's not too big. Oh, Badger, you've had enough. Now you want to share. There you go, honey. Lori says, I've had four. I don't know why so many. I don't either. Hey. Now. Which one did that? Honey did because of Badger. Badger, you're thinking you'll get locked up. We're going to put you in there with Romeo. <laughs> Neil says, Lori, I guess YouTube recognizes the value of Eddie's content. No, they did some type of update last night because everything was shut down for a little bit. So there ain't no telling because they wanted us to take a survey this morning. Cynthia said, lucky, just had one commercial till now. Eric says, I get my share of allergies in the fall as well. I've had both Zyrtec and Flonase. They both seem to work equally well. Yeah, I have some Flonase also that I use with it. Um, I'm just really bad about doing it. Like the doctor recommended this morning that go ahead and start in September and just start like the first day of September and just start taking Zyrtec every day until it starts getting cold where the allergies kind of slow down and everything. And I was like, yeah, I do that with the kids or I told them I have two kids that get a snotty nose every year. And that's Braley and Kaysen, and I have to continue giving, like, they get Zyrtec and Dimetap um, whenever they have a runny nose. But me, I don't take care of me, I guess. Not until it's too bad to take care of. <laughs> I have to nickname Badger Buckethead. I'll show you Buckethead. I don't think we put this in a video. Let me see. But Kevin.
had your, we was, we actually had a bucket and it was empty, but we put it in the back of the side side. And this is what Badger did. Oh, well, I guess I, I didn't have it turned right. So it's going to be kind of sideways. Oh, let me stop. Thank you him and get the bucket off. I mean, there wasn't even, we, it was last night because we fed this pen, then we fed, um, we just poured some out for these goats that's out here. Then we fed that pen. <coughs> right after I got done with that pen, we just put the bucket in the back of the side, side and he had plenty of food. Like, I, I know y'all notice when we feed this pen now, a lot of the excess um, feed go on the outside. Well, they had all of that. They had over there. I mean, they had a lot of feed on the outside, but he wants the bucket. All right, let me get back up here. Don't you peck me. Woo. He pecked the chair. Oscar, go get your food. I was trying to, was trying to get Badger locked up over here, but hey, yeah, working without getting the goats. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How are you? Huh? You're a good boy. Should I pull it down again? Can we pull it back down, or yeah, just leave just, it up? We'll pull it down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Neil says, "Poor Badger. It had to be the pink bucket. So embarrassing." I showed him a small clip of Badger with the bucket last night. Oh, really? All right. Well, so he said, see, he is a bucket head. No, Badger, we're not going to do this now. We had a wonderful subscriber. Do you, did you have the name on there? Or no, did it, was it nameless? Down. No, it's broke down. We're not on the But um, they sent us a couple treats. Bags of treats. Yeah, so there it's goat and Here, buddy. um Here. pony treats. <laughs> Badger. It's socks right there too. I don't know if you can see socks though. <laughs> You're gonna have to stop now. You gotta give everybody else a chance. No, oh, Dean says so you all try to sneak in here on me. Shame, shame. Didn't work, did it? Badger, you back up. Yeah, I know that's being a mother. You take care of your kids before you take care of yourself. Sylvia says, evening, Stephen Brennan. Love all the animals. Love from the UK. Thank you. Badger you got a scrap. Scrape the last of the bucket. I said quit. Now. Badger. Badger. Come on. Come on. Go over there. Last animal recording being shown. Last home. For okay. When did you get the other pig? George? <laughs> I don't know what we'll name it. I like the names kind of like Fred, um, Oscar, kind of older, old school kind of names. I really like those. But, um, so I don't know what the name is. But we got him just about, what, a week ago? Something like that? Maybe, probably not even a week. Now, now. Those aren't even opened yet. That is actually like a bottle fed baby. Yeah. Hey, you leave my charger alone. Wilbur. Good morning, Joyce and James. Oh, that was Oscar. Brennan, check out the drink called Aloe in a kiwi flavor. They are addicting. 
only 17 grams of sugar, but I have had less stomach issues since I started drinking them. I'll, I'll let him know, Jeff, whenever he gets back over here. Name him Arlo or Avis. Maybe. Hey, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Badger remind me of BJ's triplets. Yeah. Yeah, they want it all. <coughs> I don't know what Brayden's saying over there to Badger. Y'all y'all have to tell me. Because y'all can probably hear it. Wilbur has grown a lot. He's a little, he's a little fatty. Um, Y'all need a Bert and Ernie now. There you go. Maybe Ernie. Oscar and Ernie. Uh, Lori said we need a Bert and Ernie now. You know how we have Oscar? Yeah. So Bert and Ernie. Badger was trying to clean the bottom of the buckets with his ears. Yeah. He was trying. Yeah, he was trying for sure. The part of is I woke up a little late. I need my coffee. Um, let me go back to Facebook. Uh, Jeff said, Brandon, check out the drink called Aloe in the kiwi flavor. They are addicting. Only 17 grams of sugar. But I've had less stomach issues since I started drinking them. Really? Alright. Yeah. <coughs> we'll give them a few of these. I try to cover my mouth, but then I figure covering the mic is better. Alright. I know you like these, honey. Yeah, he's a good girl. See, it's a lot better when Badger ain't here trying to hog everything, huh? Wilbur will though. I guess I'm gonna scoot over and get the picture a little bit. I'm tell you what, it's just an unorganized deal out here in the morning. Lori says y'all are sitting in the middle of the petting zoo. Yep, there you go, buddy. You want it? This Oscar. is I want it in the bucket. Hmm. Or in the bag. No. <laughs> Soft wants it. Whoa. How'd you get out? You just let her out? Yeah, she got out a little bit. <laughs> I was like, she's looking out. This is Gracie. Yeah, she's a good girl. She is the first one to have babies here at our farm. Lori says, sometime during a live stream, we want to see you trying to eat breakfast in the middle of the zoo. <laughs> yeah, that ain't going to happen. Oh, look at here. How are you? You're starting to get pretty tame as well. That's number 80. Yeah. We gave them a name, but I don't remember what it is. This is one that we got from Arms Family Homestead. Yeah. Is that good? Mm hmm Yeah, I know y'all don't like those. All right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I like the Burton Ernie idea. Very cute. All right. Just hopping in to say hi, miss you guys. Hey. I keep missing all the lives because I go. am working in the kids in life. Sorry, I love your channel. Gracie, now stop. Mm. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit too much. We got too many. We're gonna start. Okay, Gracie start. is just as rotten as as um, bad. All right, y'all go play. I'm done. <laughs> How about the name of Sesame Street, Big Bird? Big Bird is going to need to be like a chicken. Like one of the, like maybe I should have did Oscar Big Bird and then the rest of them can be. <laughs> no, y'all couldn't hear him. Maybe, maybe he was too far away because he went to the other pen. Animals are looking for treats. How's Leighton Ball team doing this year? Well, he's in football now, and they're doing really, really good. He's had two games for sixth grade because he is in sixth grade. 
I feel like I have to yell because y'all are way over there, but I forget I have the mic. But, um, and in those two games, he actually had an interception in both games. So he's super excited about that. And then he's had two games. Um, um, seventh grade, because the seventh grade, the sixth graders let them play if they come and like if they're ahead by a lot or something, you know, they just let them kind of get the hang of it, I guess. And he does really good. He does really good at corner. He just, he knows when to anticipate the ball and he does really good. But he's been playing, what's that middle area? Back. Is that where he plays? Yeah, he's been doing halfback as well. And he he hits some. Now, he, he does notice seventh grader players versus sixth grade players. He says the seventh graders, you can tell they're a lot bigger. Hi. <coughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, it's just a circus out here in the morning times. But I'm just glad that. We got time to actually share this with y'all because it's um, it's pretty neat. So um, I didn't think you would win with the animals either. No, we just got too many of them that are out. Um, hopefully, we'll get, we're we're fixing to move the goats again to another area that needs to be eaten down, and mm -hmm. um, maybe we'll just have the llamas. Gracie, you're you're just too much, girl. And then the mama pin, we're gonna be separating those today. We're putting all the ones that should be having um, kids that seem to be pretty far along pregnant. And um, <laughs> this is mine. This is mine. Go play. Go play. Uh, honey. Is Case and playing any fall sports? No. Now, after um, football, it's wrestling and basketball. And most likely, Kaysen has wrestled. He didn't wrestle last year because his arm was broken. But I'm pretty sure he's going to want to do basketball. And then Addison wants to do basketball. So um, we're going to be going in separate directions because Leighton for sure will want to wrestle. We have one happy form. Hi, Oscar. It's okay. It's okay. He's a good boy. He is. Y'all should have seen, uh, it was so sad, the pen he showed when we, we went to this market and I seen it pull in and he was in a little bitty pen. He couldn't even stand up. It was so sad. We just knew we needed him yeah. or he needed us. Obviously, that? wherever he, he was at, you know, I mean, there was kids and stuff around that interacted. But he has uh, definitely got some issues, especially walking and stuff. He he wobbles when he walks, which he is big. So, Brandon's drinking cream soda. Yeah. Dean says, "Keep us in your prayers." Christina's mother went into intensive care with a brain bleed last night. Oh my god! We'll do that. That would be hard. Uh, you think that'd give them guys a headache doing that? Where's it? How are how are Teacup Cowboy and Fred doing today? Well, Fred went to freezer camp, so he's not doing so great, but we will. <laughs> and then Cowboy's over here. I'll go get him in a second. And then Teacup is doing good too. She's back there. Yeah, Fred is Fred left for freezer camp. <laughs> You're just scared she's gonna spit. Yeah, they like she's the only one that kinda spits. When is freezer camp for Fred? He is already gone. You will see that in today's video on Eddie Family Farm. <laughs> yep. We're going to have some steaks coming back soon. 
which we got mainly uh, a lot of hamburger helper or a hamburger because we, we like eating hamburger helper. Uh, we didn't get no roast or anything like that. Uh, we just got steaks and the rest of it hamburger. Yep. I do. I use a lot of ground beef with tacos, uh, uh, chili. I can't even think of half the stuff. Soup. It's almost soup season. I can't wait for soup season. I love soup. We may get another one later on, but not right now. We're going to hold off right now. Yeah, it won't be just one either. Is she talking about a cow? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a couple. We, we know better than to just get one cow. <laughs> Glad Daniel says that. Glad that secret's out. That was your road trip when you called me. I know. Yeah. You're okay. Ricardo says prayers for Fred for bringing you some good meat for your family. Yeah, I, I will say it was it was sad, unloading him and all that. It was, especially if you've never, never done that before. It makes you think and. Um, in today's or the video that's going to come out, um, y'all going to have to guess the weight, how much he weighed. Yep. When we got, can we tell him how much he was when we got him? Yeah. There's the thing. Now I got to make an email real quick. The kids took it really well. I mean, they knew that. Um, they knew that he was going away and wasn't coming back um, until our, we get our freezer. Because we'll have to buy a new freezer before we actually go and pick him up. But um, I think the only thing that's going to be hard of eating is once we we do start doing chickens. I think that might be a little bit harder for Kaysen. But we will have specific chickens yeah. for eating, and I think it'll be okay. I think... I think he'll be okay with that. Yeah, we're not going to. We're going to be up straight tell him that because Kaysen's a little different, you know. Um, each each child is different. You have to approach them at different angles. cabbage with hamburger. I'm not big on cabbage, so I don't really cook it just because I don't like it and I don't really know how to do much with it. Is this my email? I hate having to keep secrets. I have a video recording of a song by a young, great young singer that was sent to me by his album. Uh, oh, Jen by his mom. And I can't share it with anyone because of the potential recording deal. Janet just ordered the shirt. I think being honest, Kaysen will accept between egg chickens. Yeah. He'll, he'll understand. These ones are for eggs. Those ones are for meat. <coughs> Oscar the turkey. Fred has a great life today. He goes to the pasture in the sky. May God bless him and keep him safe and loved. And now he will come back and feed you all. Yeah, that's one thing, you know. All right, Nancy, we'll see you later. We're going to have to get used to. Yeah, you know, because here's the deal, like, our other channel, we go live at night time, from 10 p.m. to midnight. Um, this one is during the day, but um, we just, if we got a lot going on, we usually don't go live on this one. Yeah, I don't know what kind of freezer we're going to get yet. It'll probably be, uh, I don't know, we may get an upright. Just because it'll be yeah. a lot more room. We'll just see. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to get in the upright one. Are your pigs pets or for meat? These ones are just uh, pets. pets. 
We we do want to eventually get some actual big actual hogs for meat. Um, that's just something that you never know when we're going to have a new animal on the farm. So, but you know, these two are just. I just wanted some little pet pigs. I guess they were. I see them on some channels, and they're just so cute. Yeah, it's circle of love. Upright is easier to organize. Yeah, yeah. because like this one, um, right now we have a lot of chicken <laughs> in the bottom of it from that chicken thing, a bunch of chicken nuggets. But besides that, what's on top is all deer. It Actually, the only thing deer we have actually eaten is a lot of the ground deer. I haven't actually made any. Um, we got some steaks. We have some, I don't know. All, we have all kinds of different kinds of meat when we did the deer. Just, I haven't cooked any of it yet. Maybe we can, well, no, we have a game tonight. Yeah. It'll have to be a night that we don't have anything planned. You got any last questions before we hop off here and get the rest of the day started? We've already got the animals. Well, you, well, I like coming out in the morning and just hanging out with them for about 10, 15 minutes, but obviously we did it longer today when we're on lives. But um, we got a bunch more. We might have something in the trap. Hey, Gracie. There's nothing in there. Let me have my charger. Um, I never used to like cabbage, Stephanie, but once I moved down south, I started discovering a lot of recipes that I haven't tried before. I love it now. I just can't get over the smell of it. What? Cabbage. I just, it just, I don't know. I don't know. But we do need to get the day started because we have a short day today because we'll have to pick up the kids from school and head straight to the game. So we and, better get off here. Yeah. So thank y'all so much for hanging out with us this morning. And um, like I say, we should be going live tomorrow with all the merch. We're going to pack it and uh, we'll be putting some gifts and stuff in there. Um, that way we just like to have fun with it. So um, I don't know. I think uh, there are some uh, mediums that are out of stock now. Um, other than that, whatsoever's on the website, that's all we got. Um, you know, later on, we may do a order for hoodies on some of our bigger shirts, like our cartoon shirts and uh, the main logo, Eddie Family Farm. Uh, I never got one of those, so we may do that later on when it gets a little cooler. So One more thing, though. I wanted to show, you see this black bucket back here? That is the water trough. So I had a few comments that said, you didn't water the, the goats after you made that big pen. Well, yes, I did, but I was trying to hurry up and get stuff done that day. So that just wasn't in the recording. That's but, just kind, um, kind of the deal is like everything don't get put in the video. Um, sometimes you just got to cut it down and sometimes you just got to get things done. So. And y'all might not be on here, whoever said it, but there is water and then they get fed. So y'all have, have a wonderful day. Wonderful weekend. It's already Thursday. Thursday.